Party people, hello. <laughs> this is going to be another pop-up live, y'all. And I hope someone pops on here with me, okay? I be I want to actually try to get them <laughs> scheduled, but for now, they've been pop-up. But anyway, Lord, I thank you for any, for everybody that would join this live stream tonight, Lord. We bind and rebuke any and all demonic interferences. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, let's see if someone's going to join us. Let's give it a wait, you guys. And let's see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, what I put up? My bubbles. Black cappuccino in the building. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Look, another pop-up live, guys. I had uh, some time on my hands. And I said, you know what? Let's see how my friends are doing. <laughs> Let's see how you guys are doing. What's going on, guys? Um, I'm working on some new videos for you guys. Look, some gonna be coming out soon, so really helpful, y'all. Oh, black cappuccino, you ain't never tell me you was a man. And all this time, I've been saying, girl, <laughs> I've been saying that the whole time. Well, hey, sir. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh, you said, um, cuz, hey, you said you took your advice and broke up. Okay. Oh, okay. You was the one talking about with the ex last time with your ex. You said, thank you so much. You feel way better about yourself. I'm trying to tell you, honey, you got to cut the dogs. Cut it. Cut those dogs. Because, see, you know, hold on. Let me see. Can I take the bubbles off? Hold on. Find which one I want to do my delighting in. There's so many to choose from, guys. Not that one. I feel like this not light enough. But we'll roll with it. I'm just trying to take the bubbles off. But um, I feel like uh, that was a great a great um thing because, honey, the damage that these dogs can do to you, you know, emotionally, emotionally, and I've told you guys before, your mind, your will. In your emotions, this is a part of your soul. <laughs> this is a serious business, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And don't take it lightly. You know, don't take it lightly at all. When you see someone trying to control you, or when you get around this person, they call some type of emotional negative, a negative emotional response from you. Child, it's time to cut it. It's time to cut it. Anybody got time for that foolishness? Black Cappuccino said, um, stick to no contact. Yep. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, D Donner. Welcome on. <laughs> but yes, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, we too. We we getting, I'm telling you, it in today's climate, y'all. <laughs> You, you can't afford to even be wasting time. I'm trying to tell you, your time is, is your greatest asset. Some people think it's money, but let me tell you, it's your time. You, we all allotted a, you know, a certain amount of time on this earth. That's your greatest asset. And I would not waste it with a dog. With a dog, 
Child bye. Mm-mm. Um, you said, hey, Tiffany. You said, good evening. Uh, Cuz said, God and Jesus Christ have helped you out. And you said, you're free. Thank you very much because you helped me see them. Great, great. Y'all, I hate to see people in these one-sided, narcissistic uh, relationships. I y'all in the past I have I have had I done had my arm um, go with the dogs, honey. And so it's like I already know. I already know. You know. Um hey Bella hair. I think I said it right. You said, can you do some more flying monkey videos? They're hilarious. <laughs> you talk about that little monkey. <laughs> like, I'm a flying monkey. I'm a fly monkey. <laughs> Do y'all know? Let me tell y'all. I'm gonna share a big secret with y'all in that fly monkey video. The very first fly monkey video I did, I was in the garage with my husband. He was doing some type of work in the garage, and I just was over there entertaining him because he liked for me to be out there with him. Y'all be his source of entertainment sometimes. Cause he, <laughs> I make my love my husband laugh so much, and he make me laugh, and. I was just, I was just joking around and we were both laughing so hard at the, at the voice that did. I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video with this. And I had found that little monkey emoji. That's how I ended up doing that first flying monkey video. <laughs> That's how um, I ended up doing it, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Some strange inspiration, right? Um, but I will. Bella Air, let me write that down. Cause I hate to tell some mama do something and then don't do it. Let me take a note on that. I try to take notes. And I had got that one book. Who that told me about that um book? I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. It's a um, I think the book read, but it's about um narcissism, gaslighting, and stuff. Did one of y'all tell me about that book? But I ordered it. I might do a live when I get it on that book. Flying monkey videos <laughs> oh honey because the stuff that these these real flying monkeys do uh, you know i was gonna actually do um more videos about these enablers and and the fly monkeys because the, the enablers and them fly monkeys y'all these these people are part of the problem too it's not just the these narcissistic dogs because i want you to know the people that enable them and these fly monkeys, these people help enable these people. These people help keep them in a position. I'm just telling you. These ones always sweeping stuff up under the rug and, you know, covering for them, lying for them. These the ones that worship them. I'm just telling you. Um. Uh, You said the devil took, took, um, had took over your, your brain and you couldn't see, how long you couldn't see God or Jesus for years, but watching your stream, you could finally see them again and broke up with the ex. So thank you very much. You say you're not happy. That's good. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear it, honey. <laughs> Bella Air said, for those dogs. <laughs> yeah, the monkey. <laughs> uh, you said that's a classic. Honey, yes, it is. But you know, that's that's exactly what they are, y'all. And you, you can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you, that's exactly what they are. Black Cappuccino said the gaslighting and narc abuse. It you said that was um that was you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was you with the uh, with the book, Black Cappuccino. Cause I I ordered the book. I finally got some of that stuff out my Amazon card. Um, you said thank you. That they make you said they make your day. <laughs> you said when you think of a dog. <laughs> After a while, listen. If you get to a certain level, I'm telling you. Because you you can see, you start to see the pattern. 
you can see the pattern. And you can get you can get to a certain level where it just it don't even anger you no more. It's like you feel sorry for them and you just start to laugh at some of these, some of the stuff that they do because a lot of times you can you can you can sit there because it's a pattern. They all move in a certain pattern. You can predict. You already know what they're gonna do. So you're not surprised. You know? You're not surprised. It just started to be funny after a while, at least to me. And then Black Cappuccino said, once you read that book, okay, once you, once I read that book, you say you will see that narcissists are a textbook and predictable. Yup. <laughs> That black cappuccino, they predictable. You can see the pattern clearly, clearly. Um, you said even their words, phrases, and sentences are the same, same spirit. Yep, yep, yes, it was me with the book. Okay, yep. Well, I ordered it, and so I might end up doing a live on it. I like doing lives with certain books, and um, it might be in my book of recommendations because that's another thing, like. I promote on, on this channel, you know, uh, is, is healing. You have to heal, y'all. Let me tell you. You have to heal from these jokers because you don't want to be toxic. You don't want to carry any of those negative traits. And you don't want to pass them on to your children or to... Or you don't want to be responsible for hurting someone else. You know what I'm talking about? You know, and, and a lot of times... After you have been through certain things, it can inspire you. Like, that's one thing about when, when you anointed and you chosen by the most high God, let me tell you, you can turn, you can turn negative energy into positive energy. And I and I was talking to somebody about that today. I said, you see how I turn like all this stuff I share with you guys, some of this stuff is negative experiences that I've encountered in my life. And I'm sharing this with y'all. So yeah, I'm turning it into something positive. Because now this can be a preventative measure for a lot of people to save other people from being tormented by a dog. That's why I see it. Might as well get some use out of the dogs. All right. I'm just telling you. Uh, Bell Air said, is... The eclipse a sign from God to clean the wickedness away. Child, I wish it was. <laughs> wish it, honey, I wish it was, but I couldn't tell you. Somebody, when I was on the live last time, <laughs> I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I told them what they want to hear about the eclipse. Cause I'm like, child, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Uh, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. I want those people. If I don't know, I will tell you. I'm not. I'm, I'm not on here to be no be faking and pretending with people, and 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 acting like I'm a know it all. No, baby. No, no, and no. Not over here. If I don't know, I'm gonna tell you. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but if I know something that'll help you, I will share it. But I don't have a clue. You know, I heard people say this and that and the third, you know. But really and truly, I really don't think nobody really know. Nobody can just give you a definite answer. And you know, people, you know, they try to, you know, explain away stuff in science, child. Oh, uh, but I don't know. And then uh hey Lara um uh Mitchell, you say extremely predictable, yeah. Hey, RT and chat. Yep. You put the right face up there because that's what they be like, clown. You say you seen a dog with a church hat. <laughs> Job done. I am done. Healing is imperative. It is. When you heal, you'll even laugh at some of all the witchcraft. Yes. I'm telling you, you. And I'm so happy that the Lord gave me a great sense of humor. I'm talking about y'all. Sometimes I'll be laughing at my... Do y'all know I laugh at some of the videos that I make before I post them? <laughs> like, some of this stuff, I laugh at the videos before I post them, y'all. Some stuff be so funny to me, you know. Um, and I'm happy to have that sense of humor because that sense of humor, it, it can help keep you from hating folk. You know what I'm saying? It can, it can help keep you from having and holding unforgiveness in your heart toward people. You got to have a sense of humor. I'm telling you. 
You have to with these dogs. Hey, Joseph, you say you must become indifferent to these narcissists and, and dog walk these haters. <laughs> yes. A lot of times, let me tell you, um, let me tell you some of the experiences I've had. And I said, one, one day I'm going to come over here, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to do a live chat and I'm just going to, it's going to be a story time, y'all. Some of the stories. And it count, y'all. It's it's so many that I hadn't even I haven't even shared with y'all. You know, with some of these encounters with some of these narcissistic dogs, y'all, and the reactions that you get. Let me show you, um, Joseph. Since you brought you brought it up, I was gonna I was gonna tell you about some of the um the reactions that I got. You know, like uh, he said, being indifferent. Or uh, let me tell you something else. Um that really stops them in their track too that i found is um oh you say you love the Benny Harlem video it's funny oh yeah man that was that was old that was so old that's like when i was first starting to do youtube videos <laughs> but i was just being honest about it i was just being honest about it that was my true that was my true true thoughts and opinion <laughs> but um some of the uh, re responses that I've gotten, especially y'all, um, when when I, I this is all I did, y'all, and and in a in a calm in a calm voice, my voice was not elevated, and I was doing it in a nice tone. I really was. I wasn't doing it to be nasty. I wasn't doing it like as a clap back. You know how some people, you know how you could do a, do or ask somebody something. Or ask a question in a clap back type of way. I wouldn't even do it like that. But I, I maintain eye contact with this person. Why I asked them this question. I, and I just asked them. I said, why? <laughs> That's all I said. Why? You know, did they say what they said back there a while ago? That's all I said. I said, why did you, um, you know, say this and that in the third, you know, back there a while ago. And I just, I waited for a response. Do you know? Do you know this dog just bust out crying? Just bust out crying, y'all. Like, it's, it's, listen. And then see, when you are, when you are an empathic person, you have empathy. You see what I'm saying? And they just bust out crying. See, a lot of times that's that's one of they um responses too is to try to get uh the the act on your emotion because you are em empathetic, but they not. They just bust out crying. Oh, and they, then they come up with some old frivolous thing. Oh, and this was the excuse she gave for being nasty and low down a few minutes prior was, oh, you know I broke up with my boyfriend and met my boyfriend. I'm like. Sounds like they don't have anything to do with me at, at all. At all. Like, how, how does that equate to you being nasty, rude, and low down to me a second ago? They have nothing to do with me at all. You know what I'm saying? But this, this is one of the responses that I've gotten. And, in fact, I've gotten that response by asking, you know, doing that, like, asking them why they displayed... You know, I said what they say. I've gotten their reaction two times out of two different narcs. I sure did. Uh, D. Donner says, um, it's classic, LOL. Thank you, brother. And then you said, uh, hey, Z Huntress. Good evening, sister host and chat. Hey, welcome on. But yeah, so I hadn't really came up with a topic for this live, but I'm just gonna gear it more toward talking about how you got you you're gonna have to heal from narcissistic abuse. You're going to have to heal, and this is going to take some work, y'all. This is I, I be telling people, this is not an overnight sensation, and this healing journey, this is this is also a part of deliverance. Deliverance is not just uh, 
Come out in Jesus name. Come out in Jesus name. You know, calling out demons. It's not just that. You know, some stuff, some things you have to renounce, certain affiliations and certain oaths or pledges or whatever you might have been involved in. Some of it requires renewing the, the mind and just forgiving folk. That's a big one. That's a major one. Let me tell you, honey, if, you are, if you're not willing to forgive these people, then you could just count deliverance out because it's not going to work for you. I'm just telling you. That's, that's a major requirement for deliverance. It's, you have to forgive. You have to forgive these people from your heart. And I also wanted to talk about, um, I want to throw this in there. Because this took me a while to get. You know, because I went with that old back and forth. You know how you go with that back and forth with these toxic people. You okay, once, you know, you, and, and they do it. They, they good for doing it with you. The nice, the nasty, the nice. The nasty, you know, this, this back and forth with them. You know what I'm talking about, right? But I came to realize that forgiveness does not mean reinstatement, y'all. Just because you forgive people don't mean you be like, okay, I forgive you and you, we can be friends. You can, you can come on back to my house now, you know, just like we used to do back in the day. No, no, I forgive you and uh, you can go your way and I'm going to go mine. What I've decided to do, you know, forgiveness is for you. People, y'all probably not heard this a thousand times. It is for you. But it also is saying, you know what? I'm going to let, I'm going to let God judge this. I'm going to forgive you. Hey, I'm going to put it in the Lord's hands. I'm going to let him handle that for me because I don't have time to be dealing with a dog. That's the way it is. But you're going to have to forgive, folks. If you want deliverance, you want to be set free. And, and especially if you if you have children, y'all, let me tell you. Do you know how, um, <clears throat> and I always tell people, anybody that has, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <clears throat> and cured any type of narcissistic abuse, that's an automatic, you need to go through deliverance. Because the, the, the filth, the type of abuse that these people have put you through. Do you really think you're going to come out squeaky clean? And, and after having mixed and mingled and had a soul tie with these people, do you really think just because you broke up with them, you really think you just clean like that? No. You have to go through deliverance. You have to go through deliverance, honey. I'm trying to tell you because you got to get rid of those demons too. Any demons, especially if you was active with them. You know what I mean? Active. You need to get rid of them demons, baby. I'm trying to tell you because people, folks be fighting demons that ain't even theirs. These demons ain't even, it don't even belong. Like, they was fine. Great. Until they ran into this dog, y'all. Oh, when I tell you, I have some stories for you. Oh, my goodness, y'all. What I tell you, and I'm talking about people that I know, like they're before and after running into a dog. These people can change these demons. You know, these encounters with these demons can change the trajectory of people's lives. I'm talking about, I y'all, I, I be trying to be mindful of what, what I be saying, what I put out here, but I just say I knew someone. Or I just say I know someone because they still living. I can't say new because they still living. But this person was a nurse. You know, like married, children, the whole nine. You know, just, and how you go from that to a uh, crackhead. I'm talking about y'all. I'm telling you, evil associations, you got to watch who you hang around. Evil associations, evil advice, y'all. These jealous, envious people, they mean you no good. And I said this before in one of my other videos. Just because somebody is the opposite sex of, from you, 
These people can look you straight in your face. I mean, they can lay up with you and look you straight in your face. Tell you I love you and they really hate you. They're really jealous and envious of you, y'all. And it's not a joke. It is not a joke. Like, them jokers literally come to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm trying to tell you. Literally. Uh, you said one tried to fake cry in the hospital after start all kind of mess. You said you looked her right in her face and said, don't do it. <laughs> I was so tenderhearted, but I had enough. She froze. Okay. Cause they know they know when you know too. They know when you know. Uh uh Lara Mitchell, they know when you know. You said spill the tea. <laughs> um Black Cappuccino said you forgave, but still want to see what the Lord going to do to her because they never give closure. You said, am I wrong? Let me tell you this. Don't wait for it. Don't wait for it. Just go on with your life because, honey, when I tell you a lot of these people and this is this is this is not when I tell you, though, this is not uh, uh, excuse. This is not an excuse. OK, but a lot of these people, y'all. These people are just broken. And the thing is, they just broken. Some of them just broken beyond repair. Beyond repair. You see how like, okay, the negative things that may have happened to us, and even in our childhood, even in adult, adulthood, how we can, you know, we can say, you know what? I can't stay in this place forever. You know, I realize I'm going to have to forgive in order to be forgiven. You know, like you can you can see a positive side. These people like they don't self-reflect. They start taking on this victim mentality. Now, if they always playing the victim and they don't ever do anything wrong, then therefore it's really no repentance. You see what I'm saying? If they always the victim, and y'all know how they love to cry victim all the time. They is always the victim, even while they, even while they could be beating you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even while they doing all kinds of evil to you, they always put themselves in the victim mode. And this is this why it's so hard for these people to get deliverance. Because they never admit they're wrong. They always play the victim. And if they too busy playing the victim, then it's going to be hard to repent. That's what I'm telling you. Because in their mind, hey, it's your fault. I haven't did anything wrong. Because if you had, if they hadn't did, you know, they got every excuse in the book. I'm just telling you. So this is why it's so hard for these people to get repentance. I mean, to, to repent. And that's, you know crazy you know it's crazy when they got that opportunity and they don't take it i remember one um i remember speaking with one of my um narc cousins over the phone he just he thought it was it's almost like he thought it was hilarious you know i'm still up here basically telling him you know basically minister this is why when i used to waste my time talking to the <laughs> I just call them, the, we'll just call them the sleeping, the ones that sleep. This is when I used to waste my time and be on the phone with them hours, hours, you know, just trying to encourage them come to repentance. It's just like he couldn't acknowledge his need for a savior. That was the thing. That was the big issue. And he can find issue and fault in everybody else. He was sleeping with married women. And then got mad when he met. Let me tell you what happened. And I did a video about this. I had did a video about this. Y'all have to go back and try to watch. It. But I did a video about it. It was short. But he had met. He met a greater narcissist. Y'all. He When I tell you he met a greater narcissist. And honey they witchcraft was. It had to be three four times stronger than his. Because they got him before, <laughs> before, they, before he got them. And honey when I tell you. This 
no repentance, y'all, and, and was holding all kinds of unforgiveness. This is the thing, y'all. Unforgiveness, like, to the point where I could tell he had been turned over to the tormentors from the stuff that he was saying. He was saying very demonic stuff, y'all. You know, uh, and I'm trying to watch my words on him, but he was giving different ways and scenarios of how he wanted to the girl in front of her children. I'm trying to tell you, y'all, it's a real thing. And then he actually said he was hearing the, the audible voices, the audible voices of these demon spirits, y'all, but was wouldn't forgive her, would not forgive her. But anyway, let me let me uh, read what y'all saying. Hey, um, CW, DF, Empress, the chosen one. Hey, it's a lot of innocent women in jail. <laughs> There's a lot of innocent men in there too, honey. Uh, the huntress says, sorry for the late response. Phone kick you out. You had to come back. Okay, that's okay. You uh, wish the whole world could have heard that. Heard what? Oh, Thank God. You said sounds, uh, Larry Mitchell said, sounds like that great narcissist turned him every way but loose. <laughs> honey, when I tell you, honey, that's why I'm telling you, you know, um, some people say it's karma, but y'all know we as people a God. We don't be talking about karma, you know, but that's what the world call it, you know, but that evil, that evil harvest that he had planted, baby, it was, it was, it was harvest time. That evil seed, yeah, I was say that them evil seeds he planted, honey, it was harvest time, baby. And that get back came. It didn't feel so good, you know, because you know he was used to using these women and 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 discard them. You know he was running the show. I can do it, you know. And then got children out there with different ones and. You know what I'm talking about? Just hit it, hit, that hit it and quit it type. And just figure, oh, I could just run through people and do what I want to do when I want to do it. But then when oh, honey, he met that greater narc, honey. And she turned, she turned it up, she turned him out, honey. She went ahead on him. Showed him who had the better witchcraft, because that's essentially what it was. That's all it was. Her witchcraft was stronger than his. Um, uh, Black Cappuccino said, uh, no sincere apologies from a NAR. You said, it was, I'm sorry you feel that way. Mm -hmm. No responsibility whatsoever. They hold on to, oh, honey, grudges like you, honey. You said, would not forgive. Yep. And the thing about it is, if you ever talk to, oh, when I tell you how they can drain your energy, if you ever talk to one of these jokers on the phone, just over the phone, you ain't got to be in person, y'all. You can tell instantly something's, because you start, you, it's like you could start feeling, like you could start literally feeling like your energy being drained, just listening to them talk and rehearse this stuff over and over. To them, they be talking about stuff that not happened 20 years ago. 20 years ago, and they act like it just happened yesterday. That's how, that's how, I'm trying to tell you, they act just like it happened yesterday. And, you know, with that, with that same hateful, you know, emotion behind it, this, the same, you know, like that, that hurt feeling. And y'all, I've just, I've just seen them in action, and it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. I was just sharing with my um daughters <laughs> early in the day while I was cooking about um one of them. I was saying, I was just telling them how important it is to forgive, and it just had came to mind. This was one of my cousins, y'all. This, this low key kind of funny, but then it's not. <laughs> but uh. This this cousin, I grew up with both of them, right? But y'all know when we when we kids and stuff, you know how we used to call it jiving. And depending on where you from, you know, 
y'all might call it something else, but you know how young kids, whatever, you sit up and just jive on each other, talk about each other, laugh, he he ho ho, you know, I crack a joke on you, you crack a joke on me. You know what I'm talking about? And it's always, you know, it's always somebody who got better jokes. You know what I'm talking about? Or if y'all ever uh, been around where they was doing that, they was probably going that back and forth with the jokes. And then somebody say one real funny, to, but it was almost like a hit below the belt. And then everybody said, ooh. <laughs> this was kind of like one of them, right? So this cousin, she had said, <laughs> she had said to the, the other, both of them females, she had said to this other female cousin to my, to my, you so, you so big and black. Tell me something. You, uh, she said something around the uh, uh, ways. You so big and black. Ain't nobody going to ever marry you. She, this is what she said. And, but now, I didn't know this. I did not know she said this to this particular cousin, right? But it, it came up out of her. You see what I'm saying? But this was, this was something that was said to her in childhood by this cousin, right? By this other cousin. So in conversation, it just came up out of it, but I was looking at her facial expression. It's like she was still holding that grudge of what that cousin had said. But despite what the cousin had said, and that was real, y'all know that was real mean and nasty to say. It really was, but low-key funny. But anyway, um, <laughs> so what, what happened was she, still, she ended up getting married. Okay, she did end up getting married despite what the cousin had, the female cousin said to her. And I told y'all, these females, they can say something nasty. Like, even at a young age, who think to say something and hit that below the belt? You see what I'm saying? So, but she ended up getting married and everything. And when she, when she got married, she throw it up in her face all the time. Some stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, she said I was, I, she said she was so big and black. No, she said I was so big and black or whatever. But look who got a husband and look who don't. Girl, honey, she meant that thing. And the way she said it, it let me know that she was holding that grudge. You know what I'm talking about? Like she was still holding on to what she was said to her. Like, this was childhood stuff. Like who had time? Y'all, come on. Y'all know when we was kids, we done probably said some stupid stuff, stuff that we probably don't even remember. And for somebody to just sit down, hold on to a child, I'm like, and then my thing was, they older than me. That's, 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 that was my thing, like, the maturity level, like, how much older they are than I am. And you sitting up here talking about this, like, today. Child. But, um, the, uh, okay, the hunter said you was dealing with a narc a few years ago. Oh, okay. You said when you found my channel. Well, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you did. Because you know what? In the beginning of my journey, let me tell you how I started learning so much on narcissism and the Jezebel spirit. I first started to catch on to it as it first came to me as narcissists, right? And I was, and I just started doing more research on it, right? And then that's when I start learning more about, oh, this is the same thing, the narcissist and the Jezebel spirit. But yeah, I learned a lot too, um, watching other people's channels in the in the beginning of my um journey. Because it was y'all, it'd be some stuff like you, some stuff it's like you you just want answers. Or you can even find solace just in hearing that, okay, I'm not crazy. Other people have experienced this foolishness, so I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? But they was very, um, I'm happy you found it um, helpful. Hey, Bella Air. Hey, again, you said accountability. Accountability. And acknowledgement requires too much integrity and emotional it's, it, and is it emotionally expensive to them? You said, and it's sad when that's where healing is. Yep, it is. It really is. 
Yep. Lara Mitchell sowing and reaping, honey. Look, and I let me tell you what I said. Y'all, oh, somebody, you might hear him say weeping. <laughs> but you know what I meant. <laughs> you know, people be trying to come for you on here how you pronounce words. I'm like, child, I'm from the South. It's going to be what it's going to be. Um, Kevin, hey, Kevin Gardner, you said her, you, um, Hold on, heard you speak hit the nail on the head, people. Hold on. Oh, heard, okay, heard you speak. Okay, hit the nail on the head. People are broken. Yeah, yeah, you right about that. That's, that's the bottom line. And people need deliverance. People need to be healed. When people say, that's what I want y'all to know. Deliverance goes with healing deliverance goes hand in hand with healing okay so you have to go through that as well hey emma dean girl welcome on <laughs> welcome on honey um you said what's the subject we're just talking about healing healing from narcissistic abuse basically what we're talking about we talking about healing, healing and deliverance, and how it go hand in hand too. Um, Larry Mitchell said those words are meant to hold you in bondage. The devil is a liar. What words? Um, and then Brenda said, "Amen." What words, Larry Mitchell? But yeah. Honey, because, you know, everybody's journey or healing or deliverance is different, you know, just depending on who you were involved with, y'all. And let me tell you, um, some people have, have unknowingly entangled themselves with actual witches and warlocks. And see, let me tell you, that's a dangerous thing when they know and you don't. When they know, they know full well who you are and what, why, why they have an intention, you know, a motive behind even being with you. Y'all, let me tell you, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all this. And this, this, this is, this has been a part of, uh, We'll just put this in a category with having your mind exercised to be able to discern what's good and what's evil. Let me tell you about these demonic dogs. And this is what I was telling you about. They have a form of demonic intelligence, especially some of the, a lot of these, uh, I'm talking about these, these witches. Uh, you know, it's different, all different types of witches, but they have a form of demonic intelligence, y'all. And let me tell you, I want to give you an example and this happened to me years ago. I had went into a um, grocery store when I had got off from work. And I was over here. I was, y'all know those self-checkouts. And you know how they have the registers next to each other? Well, it was a dog, a female dog at, the, at one next to me, right? And I was at the other one. And I was just checking out or whatever. And she said it you know, loud in a way, you know, like for me to hear, you know, like she didn't have, basically didn't have enough money to check out with, right? And of course, you know, hey, you know, I was like, I was like, you know, I can, you know, help you or whatever, you know, she right down, right there. I had the fun, so why not, right? And it's a godly thing to do, right, guys? Okay. So, but let me tell you when I said that, see, and this is why, too, I have learned to discern and not just go off doing stuff on your own will. You wait. God will give you an unction. He'll, he really will. He'll let you know people that he wants you to help. It is not always every random person that comes up to, to, to you asking for money and begging for money. I'm trying to tell y'all. You have to discern people. But uh, so... I was like, but as I approached her, see, I didn't pick this up on her when I was still at a distance. 
But when I walked up to her, but I already had committed to helping her. So I went ahead and did it. But as I got closer to her, I could see that it was a setup. That she did that on purpose. You, you see what I'm saying? That she, this was just, a, this was just a, a plot to get somebody to pay for her stuff. Like, but I, I, I picked it up on her when I got up to her. You know, like face to face. You see what I'm saying? But I just want to, I want to share that with y'all. These dogs are slick. Slick as ear grease, as my grandma could say. Slick as ear grease. And you have to discern these devils. I'm trying to tell you because they love to use people. They love to use people for whatever they can use them for. Uh, excuse me. Let me see. Hey, Brenda, girl. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have. Um, okay, Joseph says, seems like narcissists will say or do anything to escape accountability. Anything to get what they want. I'm just trying to tell you. D. Donna says, they will never admit when they're wrong. Nope. And they could be caught red-handed. I had said that with one of them little flying monkeys. For the one who said they wanted me to do um, some more flying monkey videos. <laughs> Even when I have proof and it's all a lie. <laughs> they never, they would never <laughs> admit they wrong. Even when you have proof that it's all a lie. <laughs> they will never admit it. You said, yes, it's extremely dangerous for anyone to know who you are when you don't know you are or who they are. We must try to spirit by spirit. Yep. We must also um, ask God to reveal every soul we cross. Yeah. Test every spirit, baby. This is <laughs> That's it right now. I did a couple of shorts with that about testing the spirit. Hey, blessed green chick. You said, OMG, I finally caught in live. Blessed sis. Happy to see you all. You, and Bernie said, enjoy your knowledge. Okay, well, thank you. Baby, let me tell you. Look, it was, it was, it was some trials to get here. Because <laughs> y'all, when I tell y'all, and you know people don't believe me, but let me tell you. I ain't one of them people that try to hide my past and all that. But let me tell you, y'all, back in the day, I used to be, oh, if you, you know, you know, how you look in the, uh, uh, the, the dictionary, you look up sucker, you probably would have seen my picture. <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Ooh, but I thank the Lord, y'all. God is so good. Do you hear me? God is so good. Hey, Terry, baby. Hello. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I, um, the Lord, you know, when the Lord, um, really start waking me up to everything, you know, narcissism and all of this stuff. It's like, I don't know, I felt like it went in steps. Like, first, let me get you acquainted with this. That's how I felt. I, I literally felt like it went in steps. Like it went, uh, uh, you know, some just all of this stuff thrown at me at once. It's like it went in steps. And, it, and the thing was, I wanted to know more. I wanted to know all I could. When you run into one of them dogs... You want to know all you can because it's like you want to know all you can to avoid stuff like that. But, you know, nobody really talks about, like, the some of the side effects and stuff that you have to get over. You know, with certain, you know um, being around people like that can keep folks in fight or flight mode. And that's not healthy for your body. That's that's dangerous. Let me see what Emma Dean said. You said your stepfather was... In the, hold on, Frank, hold on, Frank McConnery and was high graded. Your mother was blinded by the witchcraft 
of your country. He was saying to, to you things like, I cannot touch your mental, but your brother I can. Wow. It, it, that's what he said. Basically, like, he can't get inside of your head. You know, he can't, you know, uh, control you. That's that's essentially that's essentially what it sounds like. Because that's what they love to try to tap into. This is why they want to get soul ties with you. You know? So they can control you with that soul tie. Um, D Donna says, seem like your pictures stay next to that definition. <laughs> Honey, look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what started to really change the game for me, um, D Donna. The Lord had led me to go on some fast, a series of fasts and prayers. And baby, let me tell you, the return. I, I'm a I'm a big advocate for prayer and fasting, y'all. The 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 benefits that I got from prayer and fasting. Hey, hey baby, I'm trying to tell you, it's a real thing. And, and, and this is the thing. Don't try to put no limitation or no time limit on God. Because, baby, you better know he, he always on time. Hey, he always on time. I'm trying to tell you, just be obedient and do what he tell you to do. If the Lord leads you to go on a fast and pray about certain things, then do that. Because it's different, it's different for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's different for everybody. And depending on what you need broken off of your life, you know... What your calling is, like it's different, you know? So well, somebody could say, I don't heard people say, hey, I had to go on a a, 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 a 40 day, honey, they went on a 40 day fast, period. I'm talking about like period, like, like the Lord did. And I'm like, well, ha, 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 ha. Lord help me to reach that. You, you see what I'm saying? But the Lord may have you to do yours in increments. Until you get stronger. You see what I'm saying? So, but I'm going to tell y'all. And then this made me think back to, um, who was that? I, I don't want to say a wrong name. It could have, could it have been, um, y'all going to help me out with this. It was somebody in the Bible. I'm trying to remember exactly who their name was, but they prayed. No, they want. Hold on, Daniel. It was Daniel. Yeah, because Daniel fast did that twenty-one day fast. That's a good one too. You know, that is, that's a real good one too. Hold on. Oh, child, don't be trying to, let me tell you, don't try to do evil for evil. That's what you don't do. Don't get caught up in that, babe. That's why I'm talking about, you have to, oh, um, Amity, you said Freemason. Oh, yeah, that's demonic. You already know that. Hold on, I'm going to go back and read y'all comments because I know I, it seemed like I missed some, but um, Bella Air, babe, let me tell you, the best thing to do, move on. Ignore those dogs and go through your healing process. Let God deal with them. Let me tell you something. No matter how much you, you know, you want to see the get back or, you know, you can think of a number of things you probably would like to do to them. Do, I mean, do to them. <laughs> get tongue tied. But, you know, you, you, you know, you probably, you know, beat them with a wet towel or a bag of nickels. You know, whatever, but what I'm just, what I'm trying to say is, can't nobody, no one do it better than the most high God. Baby, when I tell you, because see, he knows where to hit them at the most and the hardest. I'm just trying to tell you, baby, can't nobody do it like him. That's why I put it in his hands. Oh, baby, I'm going to let him, mm, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not that one sitting on here over here. Mm, oh, I can't wait till he gets you. I can't wait till he gets you. 
He gonna show up and show out on you. I can't wait to get you. You know, I, because you know why? Because I can't, I'm, man, I got stuff to do. Stuff that the Lord have designated and assigned for me to do. Like we don't have time to be wait, waiting on nobody to get back. But let me tell you this though. Somehow, some way, when I tell you it's like the Lord, He make a way for you to hear about the, what what happened. You know, even if you don't see it for yourself, and that's how it's been for me. I'm just telling you, like with certain dogs, somehow, some way, I'm. A, it's like I hear about it, the get back that they got. But the thing is, you know, I don't, I, don't, I still don't be happy about it. You know, I'd be like, wow, well, you know, and I still probably say something like, mm, the Lord have mercy on this soul. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be like, whoo, you know, cause you know, we're not supposed to do that anyway. Cause then the Lord will turn his wrath away from him. I'm just telling you, but let me go back. Let me go back and try to read some comments that I missed. Oh, okay. Okay, Bell Air said toxic relatives like to tell lies when you can't stand being within a foot of a soulless hater. Oh, yeah, I, I know how they do. But, honey, I just, look, when you disconnect yourself from all the dogs, it don't, it don't matter what they say, honey. Talk amongst yourselves because I'm over here too busy living life, living it up. <laughs> you know, like, I don't have time to... You don't have time to just entertain these people and the stuff that they do. I'm, and I know I'm sitting up here making light of it and laughing about it now, but the truth of the matter is, when you when you used to be around your family like that, it's it's not easy to do. Especially depending on who the family member is, it's not real easy to do. Now I just have reached a point like that right now where it don't bother me like that, but I, I, sometimes I do miss certain ones. I do miss certain ones, but I know not to go back there because let me tell you something else. You know when some of these, if if any of these dogs have truly repented and healed, they'll reach out to you. You ain't got to reach out to them. They'll reach out to you. They will reach out to you. And you, you will be able to discern if they really change for the better or if they just hoovering you. You can discern. Trust me. Terry Baby said, correct. Lara Mitchell said, there's a pandemic of narcissists out here. <laughs> that spirit is everywhere. I, honey, I had said that in my one of my other videos. Them dogs, honey, everywhere. Uh, you said, you don't know how people do it without God. You said, um... You need the old, how I need the, yes. I'm telling you, you have to. That, I'm, that's the only, um, Larry Mitchell, that's the only way look like you make it. I'm trying to tell you. Fool around with these folks because they, these folks, I'm, I'm telling you, miserable, miserable, evil beings. I can tell you that. Hey, um, Work, you say you grew up with a bunch of narcs and spent most of your life asking yourself what was wrong with them until you learn more this phenomenon. You said they were always against you no matter what. Yeah, that's normally how I go. Um, work, that's normally how I go. And you start to realize, hey, this ain't got nothing to do with me. But you know, I, you have to pay attention to how, how they try to make it. Make it seem like it, like it's some with you because it's all of them against you. Sometimes they're trying to make it seem like, oh, it's your fault, or it's, it's, now it's something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with us. Huh. Child, bye. You say you want God to make her feel like you felt ill. You said, but you moved on and you're not waiting on the get back. Now, because let me tell you, if you truly had love for a person, I don't, I'm telling you, if you truly love whoever it is, then even though you ain't with them no more, you still just, you know, like you, because you still in the healing process, 
and you haven't finished healing, it's a part of you that feel that way now. But really and truly, because you really love that person, even if you hear they got got, you ain't gonna rejoice at it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna, it, it ain't gonna do you good like how you think you might read. I'm trying to tell you. I'm and I'm telling you from personal experience. Cause I done see honey, I told y'all, I had seen a dog get to get back child, and it was so bad had made me cry. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Look, now, here it is. If, it, if it's anybody to play the victim or be the victim, it's you. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and you over here crying about the, 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 the dog. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I done seen them get some get back now. Um, Terry Baby said, vengeance is for the Lord. Amen. He will do it publicly, openly, honey. What I tell you, the Lord be doing it so good. Terry, Terry, baby. <laughs> That's why I say, y'all, leave it to the Lord. Let him, he said, vengeance is his. He shall repay, baby, let him pay them. Let him pay them. Do you hear me? Because he, you can't do it like God. You can't do it like he going to do it. I'm trying to tell you now. And then Amadee says, yep, fasting and prayers is changing my life, especially for um, the spiritual war and for um, deliverance. Yep. You, it's a game changer for real, for real, for real. And, I, you know, just continue to ask for more wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Let me tell you when. The, and that's 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 key. That is key, y'all. That's something I, I prayed for and I believe the Lord delivered because now I have a better understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like I can, I can, I can look at people and understand why they do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like they intention behind it, but also what led up to this, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's very important. Because a lot of people, they hold on to unforgiveness because they don't have, they be feeling like they need closure. And child, let me tell you, if you waiting for a dog, a full-blooded hound to come and apologize to, to you, you will be waiting a lifetime. I'm just telling you. Don't do it. Don't even put yourself through that. Just move on. But when you have th that that wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it. I'm just telling you. You don't need it because you understand that this person is already, y'all, when I tell you these people, it's already a huge mess. And, and it really lets you know why the Lord tell us to pray for them. Like, y'all, these people be, they a mess. They is just a mess. That's the, that's the, you know, they just a mess. So it's like, I understand why the Lord be saying pray for them. Cause they need it. They need it, y'all. We all do, but they, child. Bernie said, Jesus is coming soon. And as far as my house, we will serve the Lord Jesus. You better know it, Brundle. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Look, that's how we roll. That's how we roll. <laughs> that's how we roll over here. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Um, Bless Grinch it said, you've been teaching. Hold on. You said you've been teaching your preteen cousins about spiritual warfare whenever you visit them because they are catching hell. Because of these curses and witchcraft and warlocks in the family. Lord have mercy. Yep. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And, and that's good that you teach them. But in the meantime, too, be interceding, girl. I'm trying to tell you. that, And that's some work. That's what I'm talking about. Like, man, we got to be in, doing in, intercessory prayers and all of that stuff for our, our families. Like, before we... That's what I'm talking about. Like... Before you even start even like looking on that on the outside, because we already know these dogs on the outside, but it's like, dang, you got to deal with the dogs inside your family first. I'm 
Child, I'm trying to tell you. Got to deal with them first. Um, Bill Air says, can you share your prayer method or song for those dogs that <laughs> seem to do witchcraft like clockwork? Oh, let me tell you, um, and that's why I always encourage people when you when you feel like you don't have a lot of strong um um well I ain't gonna say strong prayers, but you know, like maybe don't know exactly what to pray, but let me tell you, number one is always the Lord's prayer. You got to pray that daily. You got to pray that daily, and that covers a lot in itself. But I recommend prayer books, especially that brown book. But I think my it's um what is it called? Prayers that rout demons. And it's by John Eckhart. Y'all know for y'all who've been watching me for a minute, y'all know I recommend that book. That when I tell you that book's full of prayers, and when I first um was led to get that book, do you know um that book had prayers in there about lions? Um, it included prayers in there about, you know, praying against lions, praying against, um, flies and stuff like that. So now keep in mind, when I first got that book, I was young and I was still just starting my journey. I'm just like, flies, lions, you know, it just didn't make sense to me. I'm just like, you know, so I was just praying some of the prayers that I felt that was, you know, applying to whatever, you know, in my life at that time. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up the live. It's 30 some people on here. Let's hit it. Hit that like button. <laughs> if you like it. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, uh, that book has so many good prayers, y'all. You know, especially when you try you in that stage where you learning to pray, so many good prayers. And um, uh, some of them, um, oh, I got this book here. I can show y'all too. I can show y'all this one. This is a good one too. And this one actually show you how to break curses. Demonic. Oh, thank you, love. My husband overheard me. That's that John Eckhart book. When I tell you, this book got so many, oh, baby, baby, so many different, and then, but let me tell you, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, how do I just put this, really, like, helped me develop a warfare prayer that I pray daily. Any of y'all experience that? You know, when you have a warfare prayer that through the, the leading of the Holy Spirit help you develop this prayer. This ain't come out no book. This is a prayer that, you know, through the leading of the Holy Spirit help you develop this prayer. Yeah. And this is, and that's a, like one I pray daily. But also, <laughs> this book, I'm going to tell you some of my um, favorite ones to pray. Because you know these dogs love to try to um they all they always come in groupings of packs, them and the clicks and the run in the mouth and the gossip and the you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know how the dogs do. But I'm gonna show you one of them that I um well a couple of them that I like to pray about that. But these books, I'm gonna give you a, a couple of uh, titles in here. So this a this a encourage you to go get the book. Uh, one of them is Breaking Curses and Casting Out Generational Spirits, Annulling Ungodly Covenants, Prayers that for Divine Safety and Protection. I love that prayer too. Prayers to Release the Arm of the Lord, Releasing the Power of God, Releasing the Power of the Blood, Warfare Prayers. They got one in here, Warfare Prayers. And this it is long and good. It is long and good. I think it's like, it's almost one, two, three, four, five, almost six pages of warfare prayers in here. Prayers to root out. Prayers against Satan, the devil. 
rebuking the enemy. Like, it's a lot. Okay, this one I like. I like these. Prayers to overcome satanic and demonic conspiracies. That is good. Because this, this is what these dogs do, especially in these workplaces, y'all. This stuff don't be happening by chance. A lot of time they sit there and they conspire. They group up and, and they talk and they, they conspire against people before they even get to work. They don't conspire. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is good to pray. Prayers to overcome satanic and demonic conspiracies and overcoming and dividing demonic confederacies. I love to pray that. Yep. Prayers against Jezebel. This book loaded. If you if you really need help with your prayers, this the book. This is the book. And also, you know, all different. Y'all can go down Psalms. Psalms got so many different ones. Starting with Psalms 91. But Psalms got so many different um prayers too. So I hope that answered your question. Hold on, let me see. Let me go back. Tika Johnson said, is it vengeful to take someone to court for hurting you? You said, I, you feel sad about it, but you feel you have to stand up for yourself. Um, it depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. That's all I can say. It depends on what it is. Um, yeah, depending on what it is. Lara Mitchell says, um, you said since, since you're the problem, let them move. Your, hold on. Let you move. Your little, your little problematic self over, over there out of the church going pew warming way. <laughs> God reminded me a few days ago, Jezebel never apologized. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. These narcissistic, these narcissists, which is not worth wasting your time. Yep, you right about that. Yes, sister made me smile, Brenda. Uh, Black Cappuccino message retracted. Psalms 35 is one you go to. Yes, that's a good one too. I was trying to think of what that other one was, but I think that's it. I didn't want to say the wrong one. <laughs> but I think that Psalms 35 is one too. Um, hey, uh, Winetta Carter. Oh, the book. You said what the book called, Winetta? Prayers That Rout Demons and Break Curses. It's by John Eckhart. I got a lot of his books, too. Did I hold it up that long enough? Um... Bless Green Chip says, yes, sis. You say you always stay on your knees and intercede especially to keep you and your husband covered under the blood. Amen, honey. And for the in-laws too, yes. Because let me tell y'all something. For, for the, some of you ones that's on here, y'all married, and y'all know I ain't lying about this, y'all. It <laughs> The way sometimes family even can try to come against marriages and even like in the world, like y'all, they, I'm telling you, we living in that day and time where these jokers try to make wrong seem right and right seem wrong. I'm trying to tell you when, when you have to understand too, what, what your marriage represents, you know what I'm saying? This is a covenant before the most high God. <coughs> <coughs> And I also believe it's an expression of God, you know, like the way we love in each other in a marriage. 
And these that triggers people. That triggers people to see you all on one accord. Do y'all know how much that trigger people? And some of you married over here, y'all know exactly what I mean. You just walk in and play, people trigger. Like, especially y'all ain't finna get on these hateful family members. So what, did you want me to be alone, Miss Ben Board? You see what I'm saying? But this is what they want for your life. They say they want the best for you, but the thing is, I they really only want just enough where you stay beneath them and you don't make them start being envious and jealous of you. I don't want you to have more than me now. Calm down. That's what they really mean. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um. Okay, you say you read that book too. Yes. But it's a prayer book. <laughs> it's not it's to me. It's not just a one time read. That's something I just. It's a go to. You know that I read often. Well, pray pray those prayers. Um. And then bless Grinch. It says, "Uh, you admire John Eckhart so much. You said day and night. You keep those prayers. Hold on. You keep those prayers from him playing in your home and in the car. Yes." I like to listen to Psalms too. Um, and I had got that. If anybody follow um Brother Kevin um L.A. Ewing, I got his book too. He got a good prayer book. Brother Kevin L.A. Ewing, he got a YouTube channel. Y'all learn so much from him. And he interpret dreams real well. But I keep uh, I like to keep uh Psalms playing real low. You know, it helped. Oh, when I tell you, you sleep so good too. Uh, oh, thank you, Terry, baby. Thank you, babe. Terry, baby came through for you, girl. <laughs> thank you, love. Um, hold on. You say, and you listen to them in the car. Um, when Netta Carter says, what is the book called? I, th I thought I showed you the book. Which one? You talking about this one? This one? This one? Prayers that route demon and break curses? Or this one? Prayers that work? Deliverance? From demonic curses and covenants. Those was the ones I showed you. But you can always go back, catch the replay, and slow it down and watch it too, there too. Uh you said celebrate there. Hold on, what? Oh. That's something from whatever you say you need that um tear baby bad air what you laughing at joy wick says prayers against jezebel is in there too yep hey um fadumina amed you say hello you say you have been extremely tired no matter how much sleep and having difficulty sleeping at night. You say you wasn't doing too badly before. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what your lifestyle entails. To see why, you know, just can't say just come up with some random like, oh, you tired because of this or that. You know, it could be for a number of reasons. But I know this. The Lord promised us sweet sleep, you know. When you lay down, you should be able to get some good rest. Honey, like I did last night. Baby, y'all. When I tell you I had went to sleep so good. Y'all, I went to sleep so good <laughs> yesterday. And then Cherry Baby said, I love Psalms 91. Me too. John is that the guy. The rope people. What? I don't know what you're saying. 
I don't know what you're saying, honey. Hey, uh, um, Anderson, Anderson Lewis. Hey, Gippy. Hey, Shep. You said feeling tired. Prayers against witchcraft pits in the parlor for self-deliverance helps to leave no area for the enemy to get hold of you. Mm -hmm. That's good, too. Terry Baby says, not better than them. Hold on. I got to catch up with y'all things because I'm like, I'm just trying to understand what y'all say. You said, you thank God because those witches in your family attack you so much that by searching for a solution, you discovered spiritual warfare prayers. You said you didn't know anything about that before. And you know, that's so crazy that, you know, you be thinking that, hey, somebody should have mentioned this in church or something. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe they did, but at the time you just didn't understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shep Gill says, uh, pl uh, play Psalms while sleeping. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. That helps too. And then Bell Shear says, you was laughing at how you say dogs. These dogs. <laughs> that's what they use. Terry Baby says, family, they don't want you to do better than them. Honey, you better know it. You better know it. That's why, you know, um, I'm telling you, me and my husband, especially the things that we was working on or any plans, stuff we made, honey, we, it always been on the hush. It always be on the hush because and then also you got the Sometimes with people, you got to kill that fantasy in your head. You know, I, I talked about this one time before. You know how people had that fantasy in their head about, you know, when they get to where they want to be at in life or, you know, maybe they get the money or the job they want. They had that fantasy in their head like, ooh, ooh, honey, me and my family, we're going huh, we to Disneyland together. We're going we gonna to do this and we're going to do that, and honey. Before you know it, them dogs not manifested in. They ain't even, they ain't even gonna even be able to go with you. They ain't gonna even be able to go with you because they dogs. I'm just telling you. But you gotta kill that fantasy and be good with living a quiet, a quiet, peaceful life. Not having to be that one got the showboat. You know what I mean? I got that. I'm about to roll up on them. <laughs> they about to see me flexing. <laughs> you know how, y'all know how people do. Y'all know how people do when they act like they ain't used to nothing. Get a little car, get a little something nice. You got to want to flex. Get a little new pair of shoes. New little outfit. Here you go. Hands on your knees. <laughs> Get ready to get off of here because now nah, y'all got me being silly. <laughs> oh, oh, but y'all know how folks act when they flexing. <laughs> um, oh, they tell something to bounce up and down. If <laughs> they don't want you to do better than them, um. Terry baby says, you understand now. Your family hates you, yeah. Yeah. And you know, Terry baby, that could be a tough cookie to swallow, but it is what it is. But you have to understand that a lot of these people is under demonic oppression. And that's why you have to intercede and pray against those demonic spirits. <clears throat> Bless Green Chick says, same here, sis. Um, you and your husband move in silence. Yup, because we saw the damage that can happen when you give out your blueprint to these dogs. Honey, oh, what I tell you, when, um, bless Green Chick, honey, when I tell you, dog, them dogs can't stand it. I'm trying to tell you. 
Um, Laman Jeremiah, these demons really hate the light. Yep. You say you're a proud um, Christ follower, and when manipulation and gossip doesn't work, these people will use the depths of the earth by using divination and witchcraft. Yep. But, um, brother, that's what I was saying. You know, that's why we have to live a holy life because that is our protection. You can't be out here just doing anything with anybody, baby. You got to live a holy life. And no, that don't mean be perfect, but you can't be out here in deliberate sin. Out here planning, planning, okay? See, planning to go sin. You can't be doing all that. It's stay under God's umbrella of protection. Um, Black Cappuccino says, many people don't know that narcissistic abuse is spiritual warfare. Yes, it is, brother. Absolutely, it is. You say it's an attack from the enemy for the battle over our soul. Yep, your mind, will, and emotions still kill and destroy. Honey, when I tell you, you said a mouthful right there, Black Cappuccino. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Yep. That's what they here for. That's their assignment. That's their assignment. Belly will say, you don't even post on Instagram or nothing. You said, you don't, oh, you ain't got time for the dogs. <laughs> or it says, one of your, one, hold on. One of your sisters, when you were young, loved to read astrology. After reading those books, she always come after to ask you what is your zodiac sign to know your future. You discover she is into witchcraft. Yes, that is demonic. She need to repent, honey, and renounce doing all those things. Honey. Okay, that's a big door open. A huge door. Um... Layman Jeremiah said, you right. You said, you being backslide. Repent. Repent. Let me tell you. I was telling somebody else too. You know, when you on this journey, it's not an overnight sensation. But baby, I don't care if I, if you fall or, or, or mess up seven times, you better get up, repent. Go back. Ask God for forgiveness. But that don't mean you keep doing it. But you get stronger. You will get stronger. You'll get stronger. I'm telling you because you'll get to the point where... You, you really start to hate whatever sin it is, you'll start to hate it. Just like God hates sin, that, that's the point you will get to as you continue on in this journey. Because I'm going to tell you like this, brother, it's some sin, baby, we already know it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> baby, you don't mind making plans, honey, to go get to it. Honey, I'm trying to tell you, let's let's not play. Let's not act like, oh, it hurts me so when I do this sin. You know what I'm talking about? But you will get to the point the Lord will strengthen you, especially when you when you start putting forth that effort yourself and praying to ask God to help you. I'm telling you, He'll do it. He will do it. And you'll and this is how it go. You'll find yourself where. Now, okay, let's say, let's say you probably been slipping up. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you used to just do it all the time. Maybe you, I'm just using this as an example. Maybe last year you did it about 30 times, whatever it was, whatever sin it was, all right? Well, this is new year. Well, this year you only did it 20. That's an improvement, right? So we would say by the end of the year, no, no, we're going to say by the time next year come in, it might be 10. I'm just using, I'm just putting it in numeric form so you can, you know, see what I'm saying. How, you know, like sometimes with people, especially depending on the sin, it's not an overnight sensation. But you have to keep on trying. Like you just can't just deliberately do it. You know what I'm talking about? Like keep deliberately doing it. Keep deliberately doing it. No, you have to be trying and praying against that stuff, whatever spirit it is, and also seek deliverance too. Because let me tell y'all this, and I'm getting ready to get off here. Every thought is not your thought. 
I'm just telling you. And that's why, you know, the Lord be telling us to cast down, you know, how I go, cast down, uh, cast down all imaginations, anything that will try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that should, should let you know every thought is not your thought. Every thought is not your thought, especially when people need deliverance. Because demons cause negative thinking. Demons give people, they inspire people to do things. They inspire people to go eat. They inspire, they can inspire you, inspire people to go out and rape people. Inspire people to go cut somebody out. Inspire people to do, go out here and do sexual sin. Like, inspire people to dress like a thought. And people just think, oh, <laughs> I had this idea all on my own. But that's not true. Those thoughts come from, it come from place just like the Lord. When you have the spirit of the Lord and you, and your, your inspiration comes from God, just like, okay, well, I was inspired to come do this video or come on live. I was inspired. I was inspired to tell y'all about this, to help you. Some inspired me, a, a spirit inspired me. What spirit? You see what I'm saying? So people get inspiration. You can get they you can get inspiration from the Lord through the Holy Spirit, and people get inspiration from demons. I'm trying to tell you, and you got to know which one you gonna listen to, huh? Cause baby, let me tell you, time is of essence. You said you're learning. Tear, baby. <laughs> That's good. Carol, Carol C.A. Welcome on. Yes, the pain is torment and torture. You said all you've ever known were narcs raised in a family full of them. Oh, honey. Excuse me. Tell me about it. Huh. But, baby, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you some benefits, though. Let me tell you some of the benefits. And you probably thinking... How you gonna tell me something good about being around these dogs? But honey, let me tell you, when I tell you it's some benefits until right being raised by them, let me tell you. Because you'll be ready to face these dogs in the world. These these demons out here, and I did a video about it. You already met this demon before. You were like, oh, he, oh, they just like, oh, I see they like, they like that, they like my um cousin. Mm. So you you already know, like you you get to know what you're dealing with. You're like, oh, I haven't seen that demon before. Oh, mm, that's a cussing demon, or that's a you know, oh, that's a jealous one right there. But you you'll find that some of some of the the people in your family, some of the things you've encountered with them, you'll start to see those traits in other people, and, and that lets you know how to deal and how to handle them. You see what I'm talking about? How to deal with them. Oh, honey, I'm trying to tell you. And have y'all ever seen, um, y'all have seen people, they may not look nothing alike. Nothing alike. They're like, they don't even favor. But this person, as soon as you have an encounter with them and you get to talking to them, you're like, hmm, they remind me of so-and-so. They got that same spirit, boy. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I mean, they don't look nothing alike. But that spirit, boy. That spirit be familiar. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and I, you got to pay attention to that. Hold on. Y'all, your feet are swift to do feet. God knows. Um... Yeah. Same demon, different flesh suit. Yep. Cast down every imagination in Jesus' name. Amen. Yep. Your daughter acts just like your sister. Mm. Honey, I, look, as a parent, baby, you got to go to war. And deliverance. 
And you know, deliverance ain't just no, oh, I'm going to do it this one time. I'm good. No, you have to maintain, maintain your deliverance. So from time to time, baby, huh? It's time to look. Let's go clean shop. Let's. It's time. To, let's go through, honey. Let's go through this again. You know, if you need to. I'm telling you. Joy Wick says, "Um, you adopted and discovered. Hold on, discovered. Your mom and sister spoke over you your whole life. Now everyone has stopped speaking to you. It's a trip. You say." You was, hold on, you was when you got married, what should, hold on, I'm, what you saying, um, Joy Witch, you said, you was when you got married, what should you do? You was what? Now everyone has stopped speaking to me. It was a trip. You was when you got married, what should you do? Uh, can you rephrase that? You, you said... You was 45. What you asking should you do about what? Um, Joy Weeks. I'm trying to understand your question. It could just be me, honey. I'm, hey, I'm getting I'm, I'm get tired about get off of here anyway. <laughs> but um, what's just rephrase your questions so I can um see what you're trying to say. You saying what are you asking me? Um parents have to discern their children as well. Yep. Okay, your whole family is gone now. Okay, you said what should you do about it? You talking about the ones that you say was um what you said spoke over you your whole life like negative? Mm. But if you ask them what you should be, do about it, huh. nothing, lead them where they at and go on with your life. That's what I would do. Oh, you said they all witches or into a witch crowd. Honey, stay prayed up. Lead your life. Stay away from them. That's what I would do. Also, you know, people, anybody that I know has ever been adopted, I always tell them. It, but it, it's not just, this just don't apply to adopted people. But also, you know, like, especially um, children that maybe their parents thought of abortion or was planning on abortion when they was um, in their mom's womb. You um, you need to uh, bind and cast out the spirit of rejection. Rejection, rejection, rejection. There's a whole book that, um, you know, I'll be telling y'all about the self-deliverance book, Pigs in the Parlor. Well, the same author wrote a full book on the spirit of rejection. I re recommend that you get that book, and it will it will help you tremendously on a lot of stuff. It, it'll probably answer a lot of questions that you may have. You know what I'm saying? Um, Joy Wicks, but I know that off off just off the top of my head. Uh, rejection is definitely something that you. You would most likely need deliverance from, and I would, you know, that's why I would recommend. Um, you said you miss your niece and nephew. You said, uh, what was the result? Okay, oh, great. Okay, you got delivered from rejection, too. Okay, good. So, you already been through deliverance. That's good. <laughs> that is awesome, um, Joy Weeks, but yeah, you know. If it's not a way you can really communicate with them without communicating with the dogs, then you got to really, you know, count the cost. I'm trying to tell you. Is it worth, you know, and then I'm going to tell you something too about these narcissistic dogs. They good for getting, you know, training. They train kids to be nasty and low down too. If they don't like you, you know, like I said, if they know you love and care about your little nieces and nephews or either children, not parents and stuff. They are good for doing this with their kid. They are, they'll turn the kid against the parent or 
against, you know, people. So they have, have that same attitude or dislike or hatred toward that person that they hate. They good for teaching children how to hate. I'm trying to tell you. So don't be shocked that, you know what I'm saying? Don't be shocked in Paul. But I'm happy to hear that you already been through deliverance because that's important. And then Terry Baby says, your family turned your daughter against you. Yep. That's, that's, that's the type of stuff that they do. And you wonder how, honey. They, they, they will harm it on the smallest thing. They try to, to get in. You know what I'm saying? The twist to get them to turn against a person. You welcome um Joy Wicks. <clears throat> You're so welcome. But uh, y'all finna get ready to sign off. How about I um read a prayer out of out of this book, y'all, before I go? <laughs> Get y'all a little treat. Oh, you know what I'm gonna read out here? They got prayers for self-deliverance, y'all. <clears throat> I read this prayer for us. Just in case anybody on here need deliverance. This is not like a full one, but hey, it's a great start. So y'all ready? We're going to do this prayers for self-deliverance. And uh, <clears throat> you can just, you know, uh, listen um, as I read the prayer, okay? Okay. <sighs> prayers for self-deliverance. We break all generational curses of pride, rebellion, lust, poverty, witchcraft, idolatry, death, destruction, failure, sickness, infirmity, fear, schizophrenia, and rejection in the name of Jesus. I command all generational and hereditary spirits operating in my life and those of these viewers' life through curses to be bound and cast out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of lust, perversion, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and immorality to come out of our sexual character in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of hurt, rejection, fear, anger, wrath, sadness, depression, discouragement, grief, bitterness, and unforgiveness to come out of their emotions in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of confusion, forgiveness, mind control, mental illness, double-mindedness, fantasy, pain, pride, and memory recall to come out of their mind in the name of Jesus. I command all curses of schizophrenia and command all spirits of double-mindedness, rejection, rebellion, and the root of bitterness to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of guilt, shame, and condemnation to come out of their con conscience in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of pride, stubbornness, disobedience, rebellion, self-will, selfishness, and arrogance to come out of their will in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of addiction to come out of their appetite in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, and the occult to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in their head, eyes, mouth, tongue, and throat to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in their chest and lungs to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in their back and spine to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in their stomach, navel, and abdomen to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in their heart, spleen, kidneys, liver, and pancreas to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in our sexual organs to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in our hands, arms, legs, and feet to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all demons operating in our skeletal system, including bones, joints, knees, elbows, to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in um, our glands and endocrine system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in our blood and circulatory system to come out in the name of Jesus. 
I command our spirits operating in our muscles and muscular system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command our religious spirits of doubt, unbelief, error, heresy, and tradition that came in through religion to come out in the name of Jesus. I command our spirits from our past that are, that are hindering our present and future to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all ancestral spirits that enter it through our ancestors to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all hidden spirits hiding in any part of our life to come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I'm reading these prayers, that deliverance prayer from this book. Prayers for self-deliverance. Well, the title is actually on this page. But this is a good book, y'all. Prayers for Self-Deliverance. This is the book. I'm telling y'all, you get you some good prayer books, invest. <clears throat> Be one of those people to invest in, in, you know, like prayer books and things. You know, things that's going to help you... Um, grow and build spiritually you know what i'm talking about like people spend so much money on eating out and this and that and the third but i'm telling you this that's a great investment that is in prayer books i'm trying to tell you you welcome kara ca <clears throat> and joy wicks but i'm going to get off of here tonight y'all and i'm happy y'all was able to come on we had another great live and I will see you guys next time. I hope I can plan. I want to plan one. But I've just been coming on here random. But on the flip side, at least I came on. <laughs> okay. Y'all have a blessed night. And thank y'all. Bless Gretchen says, yes, one of the greatest investments is good prayer books. Honey, I'm trying to tell you. You're welcome, love. And thank y'all so much for coming on. I really enjoyed this live as well. <laughs>